Joining me from Bonn is Volker Kauder. He chairs the parliamentary group of the governing CDU and CSU parties and is one of Chancellor Angela Merkel's closest confidants. Welcome to DW, Mr. Kauder. Now, this is an election year. How worried are you that Russia is going to influence the German election through cyber attacks and fake news? Das kann nicht ausgeschlossen werden. We cannot exclude this possibility. We've had cyber attacks on the German lower house parliament, the Bundestag and on the government as well. But we are prepared. No, but what measures have you taken? As you said, in 2015, computers in the German parliament were attacked and German agencies were not able to prevent those. Also, uh, wahrscheinlich wird man es letztlich nicht um, ganz well, I suppose verhindern at the end of the day, we're not going to be able to prevent it entirely, but security und, measures uh, have been stepped up. Dann, uh, and if cyber attacks uh, are launched, we need to respond quickly. For example, when fake news is published, we have to counter this immediately and show our presence in the internet. And what about your own party, the governing CDU? What is it doing to counter hacking attacks and fake news, which are really two separate aspects of the same problem? Ja, zunächst einmal müssen die Sicherheitsmaßnahmen First of all, the security measures to prevent hacker attacks have to be improved. We need the state-of-the-art technology to do this in Baden-Württemberg. At the moment, there's a, there are small and medium-sized enterprises that are developing software to counter hacker attacks. So that's the first thing. And then we have to strengthen our presence in the internet to counter fake news. So that means we have to increase our staff and make them available to to do this, both within the party and in the parliamentary group. Now, there's a lot of concern within Germany that this so-called fake news and cyber attacks could influence voters in the lead-up to the election. Is that a fear justified, do you think? Ich glaube, dass, uh, die, um, Sorge well, I believe that we need to take these concerns seriously, but I believe also that we have a very different situation now than the situation in the United States during their recent elections. And I'm firmly convinced that cyber attacks of the kind that we saw on Ms. Clinton will not take place with Ms. Merkel. Now, you mentioned the U.S. U.S. agencies suspect Russia of carrying out a cyber attacks and hacking computers then influencing the outcome of the election there. Russia, of course, has denied this. Is this a concern that you've talked to about with uh, Moscow? Es wird immer wieder behauptet, dass well, Moskau it is regularly uh, asserted hat. that Russia has exerted influence on the elections. I myself am not in a position to assess this. Certainly, it was clear that certain information was leaked at a certain time. And it is very interesting to see that WikiLeaks didn't, doesn't report on Russia at all. There's nothing leaked on Russia there. So there are a few odd aspects here, but I think we can safely state that in our election it will be about a debate in the media and that we will be able to protect ourselves if fake news does crop up. It's certainly the case that this is a new quality to elections. But how can you reassure citizens in Germany that you will be able to cope with the surge in fake news? What kind of concrete measures do you have in place to do this? Es gibt ja immer noch die Möglichkeit, well, there's dass, always the possibility that fake news will be published in the public sector, public broadcasters, in print media as well, and that these will become something that drives the debate a bit. But we're not as helpless as, helpless as many people think, and we will be watching what's happening in the Internet very closely. What we can certainly say is that Every dispute in the internet 
is reflected in the other media as well. But we're certainly not afraid. We're not particularly pessimistic. I certainly believe that we will be able to prevent any external influence. And Mr. Garo, let's take a look at the election which is due in Germany this year. Chancellor Merkel's refugee policy has polarized the country. How concerned are you about the gains being made by the far-right AFT party over this issue? Also, wir sollten ähm, äh, jetzt äh, sehr intensiv darüber sprechen, I think we was need to alles look long and hard and talk about what we have achieved thus far. Um, uh, Our aim was to reduce the number of refugees coming to Germany and to stop illegal immigration, and the figures speak for themselves. It's important to talk about the successes that we've made in this area as well, so that other parties, particularly those that are nationalists, such as the AfD, and to ensure that they don't gain any more ground. But the more we dispute these issues, the more we will make progress. So I think it's important to talk about the successes that we've achieved and to talk about what we're doing to combat illegal immigration, to get rid of this completely through agreements with countries such as those countries in the Arab world and in Africa and with Turkey as well. This is what we need to debate in the public sphere and not constant talk about how a problem that we no longer have is the problem. Now, Chancellor Merkel is going into this election campaign with Brexit looming over Europe and Trump as president of the US. What kind of pressure do you think it'll put on her? Ich glaube, dass um, es um, wichtig ist. Well, I believe that it's important that we take the concerns that our citizens have seriously in the election. One concern, or one belief that they have, is that Chancellor Merkel has a compass. She can set the direction in these turbulent times. And I think all of the surveys confirm that our citizens trust Angela Merkel. They believe that she can tackle these difficult challenges facing our society. So I don't think there's any grounds for concern. There's no real competition to Chancellor Merkel, and that is what we are betting on here. We believe that Angela Merkel is the one who will set a clear course and has a clear response to the challenges of our time, and that we can trust in her responses. Volker Kauder from Germany's CDU party, a pleasure to have you with us on DW.